Hey, it's John and Mike again from Brew-Dudes.com. So tonight, we're just sipping on some beers, and we uh, started thinking about something that I kind of introduced a long time ago. I like kind of thinking about this as like You this. love the year-end roundup, or yeah, like well, sprint to the finish. Sprint to the finish, you man. So stuff. it's it's September-ish. Uh, you know, you're getting close to the end of the year. You've you've done some stuff as well, a brewer, brewers, yeah. right? Yeah. And 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 now you're you're you've got a few months left in the year, and the question is. What haven't I done? What do I want to do before the year is out? To what would make this a fulfilling brewing year? Well, sir, I actually put together brew years resolutions back in December of 2012, and I can tell you I laid down three things. I've already done two, and I just have one thing to do before the end of the year. Um, one was to work with water chemistry. Two was to redesign the site, which we did, and three is to brew styles I've never brewed before, which I guess I have done. But I, I, as a, as a, like a sub bullet, I said, German wheat beers. So you're gonna get a Weizenbach before the end of the year. I don't want to drink Weizenbach. You're gonna totally gonna drink, drink Weizenbach. Weizenbach. You it's should like make Doppelbach and Hefeweizen together oh, in one beer. You love it. Wonderful. You love it. Um, Your two favorite ferment, styles ferment, together in one. Ferment cool. Ferment cool. Oh, is all yeah, I say. Yeah. You should make a rug and beer while you're at it. Mm. Just like we haven't done anything with the rye. Have you ever brewed the rye? Nope. Never have. <laughs> Oh, write that down. <laughs> Rye, beer. Rye beer for you. Yeah. So I'll, that's okay. Well, so, so you're right now batting cool. 600. Yes, that's uh, better than 600. Yes. I didn't set any goals. Six, six, so seven. does that mean I'm batting a thousand, or is that I'm batting no, you're, infinity? No, infinity. zero, zero. Um, got to bat. I know what I've got lined up for the year end so far is I've got a session beer I want to brew, mm -hmm. and I think we need to talk about session beers in the future. Session beers. Um, I've been really, We've talked about it. I've been, I've been really itching to brew a porter. I'm okay. a stout guy myself, but for some reason porter's calling out to me. And you like stouts too, like brewing stouts. I love brewing stouts. Yes, but you're also a stout guy. So it's kind of like, you know, it's getting late in the year. It's time to start darkening yeah. things up and yes. not doing pills and and IPAs. It's yeah. starting to get, get going. So a porter, I, I really, there's a porter on my mind. I also have the ingredients for uh, 10 gallons of uh, Munich Hellas. Oh, good. And um, so that has to get brewed. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, last year I brewed a Hellas and I brewed a Dunkel. So, you know, I'd love to brew a Dunkel to go with the Hellas side by side, drink some of that stuff. What about our friends throwing down the Yule Lager Challenge? Well, so that's, I'm glad you mentioned it. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I am. From the home office. It's right here on yeah. the sheet uh, <laughs> to steal a phrase. But Yule Lager, another throwdown. Yeah, uh, we've been talking about doing Yule Lager. So, what I'm hoping is from the Hellas of the Dunkel, what is a Yule I can Lager? pitch some of that yeast. A Yule Lager is a lager for Yule Tide. For Yule Tide, baby. Mm. It, you know, you gotta, you know, something that's gonna be celebratory. I'm thinking maybe something big in flavor, big in profile, to kind of cap yeah. the year out. Yeah, or, okay. or maybe uh, it's. Maybe the sleeper Yule Lager is like a session lager. I was just like going to make a Schwartz beer and say a, Yule uh, Lager. It's a Pilsner, but it's black. That's right. That's, okay. People are like, wow. So you're just going to take what, whatever Pilsner you have left over and put some Cinnamar in there and say, hey, look what I brew. <laughs> That's the easy way out. It is the easy way out. Yeah. Um, I also have another project, let alone brewing, but uh, I have a project. I, I scored a steel aquarium stand that I want to turn into a brewing stand. Right. So a couple years ago, I kind of didn't brew through the winter and I cut open kegs and I was grinding metal down and... Um, now you want to grind more metal? Now I want to grind more metal. Okay. No, now I want, to, I want to build a brew stand. I want to plumb it with three burners. I want to get it hooked up to uh, either a propane tank or actually in, in the garage here, I do have natural gas plumbed out in the garage. So maybe I'll switch over to natural gas brewing. Maybe. I don't know. So. It's kind of a decision. It, it, maybe it's not a 2013 goal, but it is something I need to start thinking about. When do I stop brewing? If I brew 10 gallons of Hellas yeah. and a porter and, and a, a session lager. and a Yule lager yeah. before the year is out, yeah. are you kidding me? Yeah. I'll have plenty of beer to drink, and uh, maybe then I can stop brewing and build a brew stand, which yeah. would be cool. Yeah, that's And it will try and document it for the site. There you go. You know, yeah, make drink lots of metal. beer and then grind metal. Yeah, drink lots of beer. And then start working with the yeah. natural gas on top of that. Yeah. Stay away from it's flakes. it's home brewing. It's home brewing. That's it what is. it's all about. And, um, yes, and and mm. uh, 
It's metal work. And what you can't see on the camera, but we do have something special planned. Uh, we do? Yeah, well, there's 10 gallons of ingredients on the floor. Oh, yeah, yeah, too, yeah. right? We'll so that. we'll talk about that in the we'll future, but there's another 10 gallon batch of something else we got to brew, too. So, you know, I got what? A couple months left, and I've got like 17 batches of beer yeah, I want to brew. Nothing, it's not a nothing problem. like waiting until problem. the last quarter of the year. Yeah, it's not a problem. All right, right. home brewers, you probably have some plans that you want to get done this year. Let us know and uh, share it on our site or share it on YouTube. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a sprint for the finish. You're always, you know, you're always good. It's important to have goals. Yes, you're definitely on the, uh, you know, someone hands you the baton and you, you take that last sprint oh, yeah. to the finish line. That's right. Anchorman. You're the anchorman. Anchorman. So for John and Mike, brew-dudes.com, brew on. Brew on.